Well, anti-government forces are claiming that Kiev used white phosphorus bombs during its latest shelling of Donetsk. Such bombs are banned under international law. Moscow, meanwhile, says it has proof that Kiev has used the controversial weapon on at least six different occasions. Russia's defence ministry claims there were a number of indicators which are characteristic of phosphorus bombs, such as the temperature they burn at and the speed with which they fell. Well, let's now bring in former British Army officer Charles Shoebridge, who uh, joins us live now here on RT International. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Um, let's take a look at the latest videos. We can see them now, I believe. I think you've, uh, you've also seen them. Now, they can't be verified, but the anti-Kiev fighters say that it shows the Ukrainian army uh, shelling Donetsk with phosphorus bombs. Uh, what is your take on the videos, having seen them yourself? I can't see the video, obviously, that you're showing at the moment because I'm looking straight into the camera, <laughs> but um, I've seen a video earlier, and although it's shot at some considerable distance away, um, it uh, has to be said that it shows many of the characteristics one would associate with fo white phosphorus use. Uh, in particular, it looks like it's an air burst device. That's to say it's been delivered by mortars or artillery or perhaps an aircraft. Um, it covers quite some substantial areas, you can see, by the time it reaches the ground. And also you've got this very characteristic um, uh, uh, features of breaking into very small, very bright burning particles, which, as indeed um, uh, military spokespeople elsewhere have commented upon, and they're right to do so, that it falls very quickly to the ground. And now white phosphorus can be used as an illuminant, as indeed um, can many other substances. But uh, usually these will fall to the ground much more slowly, usually uh, assisted by some sort of parachute, so of course that the light can burn for much longer and assist troops on the ground. That doesn't seem to be the case here. Um, also, uh, white phosphorus can be used and usually is used for producing smoke uh, to cover the movement of troops and so on. But here, of course, it's night. And um, although you can't see smoke on this video, that might well be um, because it's night, of course. And smoke would be normally a characteristic of white phosphorus. So why are, this, why are these type of bombs, why are they, this type of weapons, why are they banned under international law? Well, the law governing the use of white phosphorus is actually quite complex. Um, you're right to say they're banned in some circumstances. And those circumstances are particularly where they're being used in areas... Uh, first of all, of course, they're banned as, sub as weapons to be used against civilian targets. That's clear. Uh, secondly, in some circumstances, they are banned when they are used against military targets in civilian areas. Um, the, as I say, the laws governing this uh, particular device are complicated. For example, um, it's also said that a device that is used mainly for uh, producing smoke or for signalling um, that has incendiary effects isn't classed as an incendiary weapon. But the fact is that whatever um, the technicalities of the law state, um, really the situation is that this is a fearsome uh, device. White phosphorus will burn at an intense heat, will burn right through to the bone. It's, it can't be put out by using water. And if civilians are in the area, it's almost certain to cause uh, widespread damage as well as fear and, of course, very serious injuries. And um, no matter what people say that it's used as uh, signalling, as smoke or as an illuminant, uh, the fact is that armies around the world, and last time uh, we saw Israel in Gaza, for example, using white phosphorus um, as an incendiary weapon. It is a very effective weapon to use. Charles Shoebridge, thank you very much uh, for your time and joining us here on RT International. Charles Shoebridge, former UK Army officer.